Okay? The adjustment starts when you walk in the door. The adjustment starts when you're, with, your, with your rapport with that patient. You need to look at all those things. But you have to be true to yourself. Okay? Very, very important. Um, and chiropractic is definitely an authentic work of art. I have never, ever, 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 ever seen anything like it. Okay? Um, and there's nothing out there like that. And the artwork comes from you. Okay? You, the way you express is your art. Okay? We don't all express it's the same. We are different. We all have different bodies. We all have different ways of looking at it. I'm, I like a lot of music. And has anybody ever seen guitars? There's different types of guitars, yes? Okay? So you have a classical guitar and you have an electric guitar. Do they have the same tone? No. Absolutely not. Okay? But in order to play, they have to be what? Tuned. Right. And if you pluck the string of one that's tuned and the one next to it is tuned, what happens to the, the same string on the other guitar? It vibrates. But it's a different tone. We all have different tones. Okay? We are all built differently. Okay? So it's important that you understand what your tone is and how you express. Okay? Um, and the next one in the toe is love. You cannot have any of this without love. The... Um, the meaning of love is a deep, tender, ineffable feeling of affection and solicitude toward a person such as that arising from kinship, recognition of attractive qualities, or a sense of underlying oneness. Do you need that definition to know what love is? No. Absolutely not. Can you feel it when someone walks in your room? Do you know what that's, what that's all about? It's an intense emotional attachment. You ever spend five seconds with someone and feel like you've been with them your whole life? Has that ever happened to anybody? Yeah, you're like, why do I know you? And it's like this overwhelming sense of awe and this overwhelming sense of... Oh, that just comes over you. And you sit. I'm getting excited and goose pimples. I'm sorry. Um, no, um, i got to hide. Cool. Thank you. Um, heralding peace and harmony in the world. And that's where the phoenix came in. Because that's what it stood for. The last one is light. To rise brilliantly or shine. That came from the original slide. The phoenix rises above. And we need to have, the, we need to have light. There are many definitions here. But I want to point this one. The archaic meaning of light means sight. It is synonymous. That blew me away. I didn't know that the archaic meaning of it meant light. It meant sight. We need to have the foresight. We need to have the vision to understand where we're going. Very, very important. In the Quaker doctrine, the guiding spirit or divine presence in each person. You have to find the light that touches you. Okay? I cannot tell you what your light is. It is there, but you have to find it. You have to be original, and you have to find it. <clears throat> and the last one sort of synopsizes everything. The phoenix, being a creature of truth, originality, light, and love, would be resurrected from the ashes of its own death. The price of realizing his own immortality was death. I don't think death is a necessity, but we have to come out of the darkness. Okay? It's very important. In chiropractic, we must recognize those who allow us to be the true, original, and distinct conduits with which light and life may express in the human form. D.D. Palmer, B.J. Palmer, Herb Weaver, and the countless others who have fought and been jailed and stayed the course for our profession. Who are we to say that it is not there? Okay? This profession was built by these guys. How can we deny it? How can we deny this? How can we deny? We would not be here. Okay? For all of your, all of you students, I, when I was in school, I was so blessed to go to life. Even with all the problems that went on after I left. Okay? Because I talked to people that went to NYCC and things of that nature. They're like, we never heard that crap in school. And I'm like, I'm like, thank God I did, because it changed my world, because I understood a truth. As there are certain factions in our profession who want to remove our terminology, get rid of our philosophy, and attempt to medicalize our profession, the philosophy by which our profession distinguishes us rises up like the phoenix from the ashes and displays its might and expresses the toll we have paid. 
Okay, it's a truth. It's an, an original thing. It's a love and it's a light. Ask yourself, ask yourself, what toll have you paid in order to create this? It's so important. May new beginnings, this place, grow until our truth, originality, love and light is heard throughout the profession. I thank all of these guys, Jim, um, the board, and everybody who makes this possible. Thank you, because... I, these guys are my family. They are my chiropractic brethren. They are my chiropractic family. And they have helped me get through a lot of rough times. And because of them, this profession is still pure to what it is. And you need to get people here. You need to get them to understand that they need to be here to learn this. Josh, can you play that, that song? I'm not afraid. Are you afraid?